Now I hit record though. Oh, nice. So is that like the chika thing from like Ferris Bueller, like copyrighted, or can we all do it? It's not a thing from Ferris Bueller. It's a fucking song, dude. No, no, no. The fucking noise that they he does that like, well, not him, like directly. No, he does that boom shaka like that. <laughs> no, the yeah. Mm, chika chika. Dave yeah, that's Bow, what I just Bow. did. Yeah. That's a fucking song. Uh, no, all right. Well, I'm only talking about the fuck that specific audio bite. Can oh, yeah, we all do it? Mm. Yeah, there you go. See, that's all I wanted. Oh, but I don't know how fucking you can work. <laughs> Whatever you said, man. I agree with you. Yeah. Hundred and ten percent, dude. Give it your all. Yeah. Don't let anyone. He's cozy here. Like don't let yeah. it fall out. Do, do I have a chance to steal your intro? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, uh, hey, hey, I'm here. Your Kelsey. host, your real host, Sunny Lion. I'm putting Kelsey, on host hat. Host. Uh, it's me. Uh, I'm joined here today with Xavier Sugiaru. Oh! Zarki, uh, 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 Zarki. Uh. William! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> and, uh, 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 Edwin Miobo. God damn it. <laughs> Edwin Bonobo? Bonobo. <laughs> <laughs> Mine one <laughs> shot. I fucked it up. He's <laughs> now just drowning himself in food and misery. I'm hungry. <laughs> I was eating chips that last one. Oh, man. I should do the same. So <laughs> later. And she's not here right now to stop me. I'm gonna I think she's here, but you just fucking Kelsey. Story. She's here too. But she don't fucking know that. Oh shit! It's Halloween. We gotta use our spooky names. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. I'm I'm Spooky Lion. I join here with Spooky Yaru, Scary San, oh. Miel Boo, and Kelsey Cut Skins. Him. It's me, Buki Yaru. <laughs> hey! Yeah. God damn it. He's a Buki. Yeah, I'm a Boo. He. Aru. He about to Buki you in the face. I get booked. Man, we're tired, aren't we? Um, I, I don't think you guys are tired. I'm not gonna lie, dude, like, this morning, today, in general, I feel like I didn't do shit. Like, I barely got on to play with you guys. I went straight to school. Uh, came back, I feel like I didn't do anything. I and that was like, that's it. Like, the day's almost over. That was literally me Tuesday. I was having like such a such a. Oh my god, you guys are up to yeah. like three. Like, like, well, no, but it just sucks, dude. You know? Like, today I can't stay up to three, though. So now I, have, I have to go to bed early. Oh. So now my day's even shorter. Will you, uh, though? Yeah, I will, because I don't want to fucking sleep for two hours and be like, you know. Yo, man, be like me. Like, I'm be like the rest of us, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I set up so many alarms. Oh, I was shit. like wondering why my phone went off. Oh, <laughs> random, random thing happened to me like uh, this morning when I woke up. So, you know, it's starting to be starting to get cold around here. So, you know, we have our winter sheets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I had like uh, a, a thick blanket like on, on top of my bed to just like lay down on. And another one to cover myself. Damn. And well, it's just it, it gets really uh, cold. Yeah. Like, All right. Yeah. I have my my hoodie. I, had, I took off my hoodie and I like laid it down on my bed next to me. And I had my phone there also. So I went to bed, and I wake up with my alarm going off. And I, it's usually to my left. So I look to my left. I'm like, what the fuck is my alarm? It's it's not there. My phone's not there. So I'm like fucking panicking. I wake up, and <laughs> I'm wearing my hoodie now, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> my blanket is on the floor that I would normally use to cover myself. It's on the floor, and I'm covering myself up with the one that I lay down on. <laughs> I get up, I'm like, what the fuck? I like, fuck, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm like, rip the blanket off. And I'm like, stand up. I'm like, all right, what's happening? And I see my phone. <laughs> where am I? Yeah, I'm like, where the fuck am I? I'm like, I see the phone on the floor laying with my blanket. I'm like, what the fuck happened last night, dude? <laughs> you got turned. What fucking Minecraft, my dude. You got fucking shrunk, bro. <laughs> it was so fucking trippy, dude. I'm like, why do I even have my sweater on? It's not even cold tonight. <laughs> Too much Warframe makes it go <laughs> Makes I, it I, was, system I like woke up fucking scared. Like, holy shit, what the hell? Fucking, I had a nightmare last night. It was, it was spooky because it was like, this is like me, but it was all of us too. And we were, it wasn't just like us, but there's also Abe, there's D time, there's like Lucas and everybody, of our, everyone of our friends. And we we're just on a train to like Georgia for some reason. <laughs> and like we get there and I'm, apparently I'm supposed to be taking a test about like my past, about what I remember about my past and shit. 
I'm like, I don't know these. <laughs> I'm like Who freaking am I? out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, like, everyone gets to go home. Like, they get to go back on the train and home earlier than I am, and I have to go like back home alone. I'm like, oh god, I don't like traveling alone. <laughs> <laughs> it was really just like God, this is fucking just... with me in the head. I'm like, why is this happening to me? <laughs> why me? And then me. I woke up and I'm like, oh, oh, jeez, I woke up with like a cold sweat. Oh, God. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> High level anxiety. It was like asking like the names of like people I once knew that I don't know anymore. Like kids in class, I I, I would know back then. I was like, <laughs> I'd be like hyperventilating. <laughs> Jeez. <This is> spooky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, so. shout, out to, shout out to fucking Edwin's neighbor's dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You know, all you know, <laughs> the the <laughs> My freaking neighbor's dog barks in the same exact tone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every fucking time. <laughs> whoa. Wait, every, 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 wait, everyone quiet down and see burst. if we can hear it. <laughs> it's always like that. <laughs> I'm gonna amp that shit up so loud. <laughs> no, please. God, dude. I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like the guy from the Three Stooges. Like, whoa, <laughs> what is he like, barking what? at? I don't know. I don't know. There's Damn. so many dogs in this neighborhood, and it's the only one I fucking hear. <laughs> Why doesn't your neighbor tell it to shut up? Because like my mom, my mom's always, <laughs> my mom's always like, "Hey, tell the dog to be quiet." And like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, "Why? Okay, fine." <laughs> and I do it, but that dog like consistently does it this time. Every time. Dude. Not this time, always. Fucking I mean, no, it's time, literally dude. at night. Every I time at night. I have no idea how it has it destroyed his voice by now. It's just... It hasn't destroyed it. It's only strengthened it, Jacob. <laughs> it's, it's fucking shift, man. He's like, oh man, it's nine o'clock. Like, it's time to get back to work. It's just nine to five. It's nine at night to five in the morning. Back on that fucking grind, boy. Yeah, dude. <sighs> All right, here I go. <laughs> it's that time of day, is it? Just picture like a dog person like going up to like a desk. In the suit. Takes off like his like, tie. He's just like, ah. put like tits his hats down and he gets on the computer and just like. <laughs> Fucking writes a blog. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of it. <laughs> That's all he's doing. Oh, he's just, like, oh, you see, he's just watching really funny videos and he's just laughing. Right now. God, why are we doing this? Yeah. We're we'll on your neighbor's dog right now. Because yeah, we hate oh it. Because it's always doing. Oh my god! This. All right, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Edwin's house be there like around right now or some shit and be like hey Edwin what's up I'm just gonna go stand in, the back, in your back yeah, with my phone back. we'll record this dog real quick <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna record the sound bite real quick <laughs> God. you can use my really Ooh. shitty loud one that's gonna be all bass boosted and turn it into a song <laughs> Oh shit, he's got that bub step. He's got the bub step going. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's good. That's good. Nah, this, is a, this, is a, this is a good start. Memeing on a dog. It can't defend itself in any way. <laughs> hey, that's what he gets. I just see every like outside single dude. We have to hear this every time. The dog is actually Umbasa. <laughs> listening to all of our podcasts, he's here, it's gonna hear this and be like, quite, I feel like that dog is like a sprinkler system where it turns on like at night. <laughs> they just have a set time for it. Oh god. <laughs> oh, Edwin's playing games again. I see. Mm, I see. Just woke oh up. man, I, I see it's that. Now Edwin's time to, to begin my so. job. Woo! <laughs> he cuts himself yeah. off the wood. <clears throat> so, should we talk about Star Wars since we watched that recently? We can. Oh, I almost feel like a shame to talk about it without D-Time here. 
Me too, but you know. Yo, man, D Time so fucking knows like. He every knows this fucking shit about Star Wars. I, I'm about to go quiz my other friend who's like a big Star Wars fan. I'm gonna have to see if he knows just as much as D Time does, because if not, I'm gonna be like, bro, you're not a hardcore. Not really really fucking not, dude. <laughs> you're not Get on real. Get D-Time's level. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a real bitch. All right, so this is gonna make me look terrible. I have never seen the Star Wars episode four before. I don't think that makes you look like. Well, terrible. I mean, prior to what we, when we just watched it. Yeah. Yeah. That was my first uh, time. I had seen uh, five and six before. Have you seen one, two, and three before? Yes. Okay, now I'm mad. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just a little bit. My, I, I told my dad, like, hey, I haven't seen any of the Star Wars, and he's like, cool, we'll watch them in order. And then he put on number one, episode one. <laughs> oh, and it's not the right not order. order. And, and then when I got to three, I was like, all right, I think I'm good. And then I never watched three, four, and then like two months doable, later, one and two is kind of yeah. yeah three was three is okay. <clears throat> three is where they cut out the bullshit, or, or like, <laughs> or like, like half of the bullshit. <laughs> try watching the first two Star Wars movies back to back. It's kind of hard with your dad, yeah. so you can't like meme. <laughs> Cause like he's really into it. Cause my dad really likes sci-fi, <laughs> so I can't make jokes to my brother. Really cause he'll be like offended. <laughs> he likes all of Star Wars. Uh, dude. Uh. I think his favorite is six or five. I forget. I gotta okay, ask. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I think. But like he can like he just loves okay. sci-fi. Like, I was talking to him the other day about like the first Blade Runner, and he's like, "Yeah, it was a really good action movie." And I'm like, "What? What? what? No. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, man. An action Whoa. movie? No." And then I was all. I was like, hey man, you should read Dune, and he's like, nah, I just watched the movie because the book's too hard. Have you, did you read the book and or seen the movie? Yes. I saw the movie. I, I Dude, that shit got me fucking bored out of my mind. <laughs> he loves yeah. Dune, he's like, it's such Dang. an exciting and epic movie. Non-stop no, action not. all around. It's fucking Yo man, let, let me get these fucking blue glowing ass eyes because it's let me fucking tell you, like dust or some stupid for shit. For anyone who's never seen the movie, first one. It's fucking slow. Dune is like a three and a half hour burn. <laughs> it's fucking. Oh my god. It's the movie that you turn on when you're fucking grinding shit out. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Because you won't miss shit. You won't miss anything. Trust me. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen <laughs> that movie your... with like the mist and the giant ants? Uh, <laughs> what? There's a movie about no, like the mist. James and the giant like... peach? No, it's no. just like there's a mist. And there's giant ants, but you don't know that until the very end of the movie. Oh, you're talking about Arrival. Is that oh, it? Wait, no, 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 those are squids. Those are squids. Yeah, those are squids. <laughs> are you talking about Stephen King's The Mist? Maybe, I don't know. Because that movie has a bunch of spiders that are giant. Is it spiders? I, I always thought it was ants. It, they're, they're like giant bugs. Yeah. And, and I thought it... that was like the stupidest shit. I'm like, what's taking them in The Mist? Is it a monster? No, it's just big ass bugs. Yeah. Bugs. Uh, if I recall correctly, like another dimension seeps onto our dimension. <laughs> Man, Stephen King was on some shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then it, and it brings all these Cthulhu monsters in, <laughs> and that's that's what Jesus. the mist is about. The TV show is terrible and can suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'd rather rewatch American Horror Story season two. Shut up. Damn, is it that bad? I do not like the Mist TV show. It's a lot of, nothing. A lot of uh, Stephen King stuff is pretty lackluster at times, sometimes. But there's I, there's there's their moments. I, I respect Stephen King because he has the ability to pump out like a million books an hour. Yeah. However, like the 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 the, ex, the, 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 the term "needle in a haystack" has been used before to describe his writing, where like, yeah, it is his magnum opus, and he's that was written like. 20 years ago or some shit like that and it's never been like redone like he's never yeah. done that good again he, he's admitted to taking like huge amounts of cocaine back in the day and like that's what was made you? him dude if I had I access to that much cocaine you know it <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's the problem nowadays but <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> so can we all just talk about what we've been playing recently Warframe Yes. I no. I made a fucking video right. shit already. Warframe yeah. cast now. My Warframe <laughs> is strong. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Keep going. The Grenier used to be builders. No. Now the build is war. war. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so like the corpus the only yeah. for a cult okay. that worshipped money. 
god. Can we oh, talk god, about god. how bad the voice acting is? Warframe is one of my favorite Christ. games. Currently. Some of the worst voice acting in anything like, I have ever seen. It's like shit, dog. This game free. <laughs> it looks good. It plays good. But it then runs on a then, fucking toaster. Then you good. go you you go far enough into the story where it unlocks actual cutscenes and dialogue for like for like the story stuff, right? And then all you hear is like my Kuva! My Kuva! My Siphon! My Siphon! I'm gonna try to get the or, audio clips and get them in here. Or it, it's like, you festering balls of festering flesh. <laughs> and I'm like, uh... Is, is it supposed to be like this? Or... <laughs> and it's just really weird and awkward and like, it could have been done so much better. You're a hero to these people! And to me! But Butthead Bayhack. <sighs> And I feel like the reason for this is because the voice actors are actually like, are act are actually people who work on the game. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't they just employees? Yes. Tenno the, the the Valkyrie scream for when you do your core is uh, D E's. one of D's designers or something. Oh. Or programmers. I forgot. Yeah, one of the just operator guys. is everything in Ordis. God damn. Oh. Can we just get hey, an operator just to do the voice of any frame? That'd be great. Let's know. let's let's give it to the frame who wants to be really angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Please come back covered in blood. No, that, that's that's that too good voice so acting. I'm sorry, I did too good. Covered in blood. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's fucking atrocious. I hate hearing <laughs> that shit every time. I mute oh, my yeah. game. I, I mute. Like him, they have a slider for him specifically to mute him. <laughs> for Ortis? I, I, yes. de I definitely don't have as much playtime as these guys, but I fucking love Ortis. I muted him. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a scale. When, when I first him. started, I was like, okay, these guys are annoying. I don't, I don't like Ortis. Right? And then as a little bit more time went on, and specifically it was when I did the uh, Octavia quest, where like you're in like an alternate like reality or whatever, the fucking Cephalon dimension. And it's like, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then Ortis, like, yeah, like, you do the song thing, and like the music gets hyper, and it's like, oh god, that guy's getting so intense, I gotta do this platforming and shooting, and oh god, there's so much shit. And then Ortis, like, flies into the fucking scene, and he's like shooting laser beams, and he's like, it's time to live my dream, I'm gonna fight beside you, operator. And, like, it was like the fucking One Piece, like, Antoine Dovrak, Fourth Symphony was playing, and it was the hypest <laughs> shit in no, my I'm mind. I'm not here because I'm watching Couch Up. <laughs> Respectable. But... And I was just like, this is so awesome! Ordis! They can hear you, I think, a little. Yeah, a little bit. But ever since then, <laughs> Ordis has been my jam. I've been, Ordis is... He's my best friend. Fuck I mean, that's the only redeeming quality. That uh, that one part, but now he's back to normal. And that only took, shit. like, 200 hours. <laughs> Trying I'm to... telling you, Warframe's got a story. It'll only take you 70 hours to get to it. <laughs> And then another 60 to finish it. Yep. What else, what else do you want to rant about Warframe in? Any troubles you've been having? Anything? Yeah. Fucking yeah. sorties. Sorties are... Oh, okay. Can, can I talk about sorties for a second? The new sorties yeah. is a step in the right Explain direction. Explain what a sortie is. Okay, so in Warframe... After you do a bunch of shit, woo woo woo, you can do more, you can do these quest lines <laughs> called sorties. I should be doing that. <laughs> so sorry, uh, I'm gonna play the audio bit from earlier, the super loud one. It's gonna be jumping in like maybe once or twice, so, so it's not annoying. Sorties are like a daily thing you can do, daily three missions. Yeah. And at the end of the three missions, you get a reward. But the thing about these daily missions is you have to be like a decently higher rank to do them. You have to be. So it takes a while. You have to be properly badass. Yeah, and, and but the enemies the about are it, strong enough for that you can't fuck around. You need a max uh, level to frame, first off. Yeah. We Just even to be that. able to do that. And you have to finish a certain story part. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty deep in. Yeah, and the, th the thing about it is, like, everything is really hard. Like, it goes from 40 to 60. Which, which is about, to, like, mid to late tier already. Yeah, 70 to 90, and I think 90 to 110. Yeah. And it, it, they just destroy you if you if you don't have like good people, like if you don't organized. So doing so, this shit with random people, like I had to do for a little bit when like people stopped playing with, like to take a break before planes came out, was the worst. Because I like yeah, there's these things called spy missions, 
where you had basically have to go to an area, solve a puzzle, and then like do a quick little puzzle in like ten seconds, or else like it sets off the alarms and you lose that shit. And mm-hmm. if anyone fucks up, then the whole mission fails. And I guarantee you, if you're playing with random people, someone will fuck it up. Every single yep. time. Like it's better just to do that sortie solo. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> like it's such nonsense. And then you get these assholes who are like rank like 25 and they're just gonna sit there and fucking AFK. Not even yeah, playing Ember or Limbo, someone who can actually AFK frame. They're just gonna suck and sit there and not do anything to get the free sortie reward. I don't think Bro. we're fucking AFK. <clears throat> no, like they'll just sit there and like they don't do anything. My yeah. favorite. Because the game doesn't have a way to boot people who are AFK. It's true. Yeah, tell, tell, uh, Shout out to Digital Extreme for not making a kick uh, system. One thing I want to talk about, I want to bring up at least. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me finish it my sorties is. real quick. Go for it, go for it. My main complaint is that this fucking pseudo random ass bullshit has given me like nine Aeon sculptures in a row. What do you do? I have gotten a single ribbon from my sorties. What's a ribbon? Fucking abolish it for a Tenno weapon I'm not going to be able to make for nine more years because I don't feel like grinding in the buggy ass that is. See this. <laughs> Unless you want to buy from me, guys. Hit me up. Yeah. Anyone want to buy some Bella ribbons? We got you. We got ribbons. We got some ribbons for that. Anyway, that's, that's my piece on sorties. That shit's annoying. But I got I, they recently changed them and I got 6,000 Kuva. Good. And it, it's not so bad. Four thousand endo isn't too bad. If I ever got that. They honestly. they condense things a lot, so it's less bullshit now. Yeah, it's it's con- a bit more condensed. Yeah. <clears throat> One thing I want to bring up, because I just realized I hated it as much as probably I don't know if it's as much as Xavier, but it's Nova's design. Oh. I fucking okay. hate. Okay, the I need way you guys to go into more detail about this cuz I I I don't hate D, I don't hate Nova. She's fine. I almost said Diva. <laughs> uh no, I never played her. So her playstyle is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the way she No, looks. like yeah, just looking at her design, I, I don't really have a big problem with it. It's something about I don't know, it just looks like fucking baby skin. It's, I don't know. It's it's the no chin. No chin. No chin's a part of it. Probably uh, yeah. The flat ass. That that's a part of it. She's she's got an ass. No, no. Look, look. Uh, okay. Uh, the problem is you can't compare Jacob, it to just because they actually have a butt does not mean you can. Say okay, okay. You, she you, you can't ass. compare it to like the other frames though. She has the the weakest ass, for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean by has no ass. <clears throat> uh, well, stupid heels look, fucking. Dude, I love her '80s pants. No, not the pants. No, not the the, pants, heels. the, the heels. heels. Yeah, I guess. The weird clunky heels. Uh, I, I will like admit... The arms. The arms are misproportionate a lot. Yeah, they're pretty long, actually. I, it's I, not just that. It's I, the forearms are fucking huge compared I, yeah. to, like, the forearms. I, I will admit I don't like her hat, her helmet, her default helmet. Yeah, her default yeah. helmet's kind of lame. Because it gives her no chin. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? She's got that big ass hunk of- oh no, that's just her face would be. Alright, everything just looks too... Ugh. I feel like if they took off that extra bump on that chin, it would've looked fine. No. Eh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, it just- it does not seem appealing to me. <clears throat> she has like a weird porcelain doll texture. That's it. Thank you. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. Now that I look at it. Porcelain doll texture. Yeah, she does. That's what she has. I don't like it. She's really shiny. That's like my main problem with Necros is that he looks like fucking plastic. Um, Necros yeah, Prime Necros. looks different. Yeah, yeah I, I, I haven't like seen Necros, Necros Prime. Prime. I'm, I'm gonna make him soon. Necros is a he's a skinny boy. He's a scrawny dude. He's a scrawny man. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> I am not going to. <gasps> Got my pumpkin colored Necros. Man. Would you say he's all bones? Yes. <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> How could you? Uh, can we shit on the fuselage a little bit? Yeah, well, for I have yet to use it, but, you know. It's really shitty. So they add weapons every now and then, apparently. But, like, why even add the fuselage? It's garbage. It does nothing. It's doogie. Like, literally yeah. every other throwing knife is better. Yeah. 
pretty much. <clears throat> okay, that is being... going. Oh, wait, if wait, it's wait. a rank, you gotta keep going. Like, oh, I need to get some. Okay, so the flannelite, <laughs> the, 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 the fuselage whole thing is it has status chance, right? But it's a fucking throwing weapon. And it's alternate fire throws three at a time on a six clip shot. But the problem here is that the fucking triple shot doesn't actually proc anything. Look, the triple the triple shot can't it only works. It only works if you have three left in your magazine. So if like, you throw you say, one say you on six. accident, then that yeah, shit so you won't have six. shoot. You have six, you you do the alternate fire, you throw three, and then you'd use the regular fire. Now you have two. You can't do all fire again. <laughs> and no that even if you spend that shit to upgrade your magazine size. Like unless you're only investing, go up by like two. yeah, you'll only get it up by two, like max. Yeah, it's fucked. So up. you can just make it so you just can't fucking do it. It's yeah, it's, and even if you use the triple shot, it, it doesn't proc status. And it's not gonna hit shit because the way mention, it arcs is it, just. It has this awful. bullshit fucking like arc from like the Friday the Thirteenth NES game. Uh, fucking uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde shit. Yeah, where you're just never gonna hit jack shit. Cause it, it like it doesn't go straight. It doesn't go in an arc. It just goes where the fuck it wants and doesn't hit anything. Yeah. It's fucking wild, dude. Fuselage. Fuselage. Dog duty. Dog duty. This is by far my least favorite weapon in the game. <laughs> Jeez, that's saying something. Yes. And I use and the Gorgon. I'd rather use a Lado. Dude. I'd I'd rather use. A Ack, fucking Lado. Sphere. I'd rather use a fucking machete. <laughs> oh god, I hate the machetes. Can I have two seconds to say I hate these fucking weapon stances that don't use weapons like weapons? <laughs> Nothing is a bigger victim of this than Dark Souls and the fucking halberds. And the whoa, am I spinning this shit around? Whoa, I hate that shit. I hate that shit with a fucking passion. You love it. One of my favorite things about For Honor is that the fucking Lawbringer uses his halberd like a fucking halberd. Yeah. I really wish that game didn't get fucking patched into garbage. I really wish that the community was better. <laughs> I really wish that they had a thing for ranked mode where you can take off stage hazards. Yeah. <clears throat> for what? For, for honor. honor. Oh. oh, excuse me. Yes. For honor! You say it like that when it loads in. True. Yeah. I wish they didn't make the DLC characters super fucking broken. Yeah. Not. Fucking mi ninjas, dude. You ever follow one? You're assholes. Fucking bullshit, dude. Let me just hit you with this full screen unblockable. Yeah, let me just hit you with this full screen guard break. <laughs> They'll the break your guard full screen, my dude. The centurion. The, the fucking centurion. Oh, you blocked my combo? Good job. You still don't have any stamina. God. Jesus Christ, dude. And I also did about a quarter of your life in chip. Mm. Centurion. Mm. But you countered all my shit. Good effort, though. I'm a balanced character. Says people who made me. Uh, fucking Centurion is such bullshit, dude. Did they even release the the Viking one? I haven't touched that game in too long. I don't. They know. released some characters, and I think they <clears throat> they nerfed uh, what's his face recently, Centurion. Ah. Uh. I don't think it was enough, to be honest. I'm not sure. Hopefully they could uh, siege this game <clears throat> and make it better after a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I, I, if they ever did a thing where, like... If they lower the price, people will hey, buy it. Hey, guys, we made this $15 version where the characters aren't so expensive. Yeah. And, or we Sick. reduced the price of characters, and there's also the $15 price, fifteen version, which makes everything less expensive. Yeah. I mean, more expensive. Yeah. Like, did you see, did you ever read that shit where they were like, yeah, so someone did the math and found out if you actually want to unlock all, like, the cosmetics yeah. and shit for your character in Warframe, in fucking Warframe, in fucking, uh, Warframe would probably be faster. In, uh, <laughs> For Honor, it would take, like, 9,000 hours. Yes. And then they were like, hey, devs, why is this? And they are like, well, you're not supposed to get everything. Okay. Well, why not? Why, why, why am I not supposed to get everything? I played the game, didn't they? Despite giving you dailies and shit to go do multiple things, they only reward you for playing the same character. The dailies were like game jack too. Yeah, it was all. It like wasn't much. It's been four and years. It was so bad when it came out. People were like, 
Yo, what the fuck? And then they're like, fine, we'll do it better. And then they've like, didn't they double it? Yeah. And it's still not enough? It's still pretty shitty. <laughs> You're going at it, by the way. Cool. Yeah. Woo! 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 Like, For Honor is like one of the biggest disappointments to me. It was really fun. Because I really like it. The core gameplay is amazing. It's basically a fighting game. <laughs> it is. And, and then and, they and, went to the defense meta. And then I was like, yeah. this is really good. And then I realized that, like, all mind games don't matter because you can react to everything. Yeah. Like, the best way to explain it is imagine a fighting game like, say, Street Fighter 2, but every input you see your opponent push, you can block or counter. Like, just by seeing it. Like, you don't really need to practice it that much. Yeah. Unless you're playing Centurion, then you're, you just say your game over, you're done. Yeah, because you don't really... It doesn't matter if you hit them or not. You can just... They can block your attacks, and they still get an advantage. Centurion's like, oh, I'm not too bad. All you need to do is block uh, 25 seconds worth of block strings. <laughs> Good will, luck. That will also drain your stamina seconds. and do a bunch of chip. God. Hit you once... I guess there goes fifty percent of your life. I'm sorry, man. Well, there was nothing we could do. Well, I didn't know what happened. I blinked and you were dying. I, I don't know. I'm just playing Centurion. <clears throat> God, I hated fighting ninjas, dude. Ninjas made <laughs> me stop the playing the game. Yeah, me too. Like that's when I, I like I had I had. I was doing one v ones, right? Yeah. And I someone will. was a ninja, and it was like the stupidest shit. <laughs> the, the thing that made it for me is I was doing one v ones. Because those were my favorite, because generally speaking, people actually had honor in 1v1s and didn't use stage hazards. Oh, and, they used stage hazards. And, and, and so yeah, yeah, but it was a lot less... It wasn't as bad as like any other game mode, though. True. They would, More often than not, they would wait till you kick their ass before they start trying to use stage hazard. Yeah. Anyway, like I, I did a match against a ninja, and like first two rounds, I beat his ass because he's garbage. Yeah. And I have like a basic knowledge of fighting games, and I'm like, oh, he's going for this, and I can easily make reads. And then, like, immediately after that, like round three, he immediately starts running away as soon as we load in, and I'm like, oh. And then after chasing him for like two, three minutes, he does like his super long range nonsense that I can't do anything against because I'm a fucking like regular ass Viking. Yeah. And then proceeds to just like fling me off of the map, and it's like, cool. I like how I had zero options to deal with that because it doesn't matter if I roll or not or block. Yeah. I, I just have to eat the hit. <clears throat> I liked how we went from Warframe to For Honor. Yeah. It's, it's, good. Good. it's a good that's, segue. It was a good, yeah, let's go How back. did we get here? I don't Something know. about ninjas or cosmetics or some shit? Uh, uh, it was just to say that, like, uh. Oh, fuck, I don't even remember. Oh, anyway. It was a good update. Planes Eidolon, go play it. Like all Planes the, all I know the you're it was alright. All the other like a hundred thousand people playing it right now. There's a lot of Twitch streamers because they're part of Twitch, you know, playing it. My only issue but, is I wish that shit wasn't buggy as fuck. You, know, you knew it was it. gonna be buggy. Yeah, but like, it's a fun game. I had a really bad first impression. I'm a little bit more turned. It's not as bad as it used to be, but like my first like two three days trying to do bounties and shit, like that shit just never worked. I just feel like it was super rushed. Yeah, it felt really rushed. Some of the bounty things. Because people kept going, where's planes? I don't know. Uh, I definitely feel like... I don't think they needed to do such a big update at all at once. Yeah. Do you think they're going to add uh, another open world type area like that but for Corpus or something? I feel like they would. Uh, the rumor right now is that uh, Venus is going to get a Corpus zone like that and uh, one of the infested zones is going to get an infested zone like that. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. I'd like to see like an infested zone being like all like dark and. Funny. Infested zone would be cool to see them in hordes. Yeah. I would really like to see that. And what my mind went to is like instead of having like one big city, you get like two or three little like camps. Mhm. Mm yeah. And there's just like a bunch of fucking zombies in between. Just to my uh, to to my experience, I feel like when we play Planes of Vitalon, it doesn't really feel open world. It just feels like a really big instance. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like that's super perfect way to describe it. O open world, like uh, like like you said, like three different small areas. Like you have like one area and you travel into a town, and then you go into a different area from those two towns, like a hub. Yeah, that'd be neat. Yeah. That's, oh, that's and uh, also, like, do you really fix like your uh, party systems for Cetus? 
That'd oh be like that'd be mm, that'd be like the that'd best be right now. Yeah. <laughs> Walk it, you know. Hey. And make it please make it when we finish a bounty. We don't have to fly or walk all the way back. This just, this just reminds up. me to the, the, the Reddit post again, just, where the guys all like, instead of making arc wing deployment things, why don't we just re have a, a smoke thing that just like... Yeah, that shit like, pissed me off, because be the very first thing I did was the fucking Gara quest. And in the Gara quest, you go get picked up by your yeah. fucking ship, and I just assumed that that's what it was going to be. Yeah, me so, too. So when I went out there and did a bounty, well, and it's like, walk back now, bitch, I was like, what? I thought my ship yeah. was just going to come pick me up. <laughs> when I did a bounty, and... And I saw nothing else. I'm like, what do I do now? Do I press abort mission? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, and then one of the guys just told me, yeah, you just got walked back. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, it's Jing. It, it totally would have been way fucking better if, if if they had that system. Like instead of having to make thing make a, a an item to deploy on Arcwing, why not just have that as an ability itself? And then just like have the thing where you get picked up as a as a makeable item. God, oh, man, it's okay. I'm only on my fiftieth run to get. What else? What else am I gonna fucking? Fucking, uh, you know, Idolands are cool and all, and it was really fun the first time I fought and went with you guys, and it was really cool and exciting. Never want to fight one again. Yeah. yeah. Every time I fight one, I just lose, like... I have just... zero desire to fight one. I know, yeah. like, I don't have all the damage in the world, so, like, I feel like, theoretically, if you have, like, a squad who is, like, a bit more prepared, comes with the mods, has the amped modes, modes, whatever... The only way to get you, those amped modes is to do kill, more of that. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, if you have a squad that's pretty beefy, then you can kill, like, maybe three or four a night. Which, you know, fine. But, like, they have so much life... So much armor. Like, so much armor. That's not even, like, my main problem. My main problem are the fucking ads. Yeah. I fucking yeah. hate ads in any boss fight. You want to know how to ruin your boss fight in a video game? Add fucking coyotes running all up in your butthole, fucking Dark Souls 2. It not makes bad. sense if it's, like, a second win type of thing. Like, how Borderlands does it. Yeah. They're just there for the second win, so they're really easy yeah. to kill. Or, like, if they're there specifically for to be jobbers and that you kill them so that you can get, yeah. like, ammo or some so shit So you can back. get ammo. But yeah. these fucking ads against the Eidolon will straight up fucking one-shot you. Yeah, dude. And it's, it's like, great. why the hell are they stronger than the fucking Eidolon? No, the Eidolon's still pretty strong, though. Yeah, yeah. but even when I'm Zephyr, that shit, the, the thing never one-shotted me. <laughs> like, even, like, the big swings, they'd send me flying, and I'd, like, have, like, at least, like, 100 life or left or something. The only <laughs> did do that is because you didn't really get hit by it. I got hit by it a couple times. <laughs> I, I wasn't the kind of person who would just walk underneath it, though. Whoa. Shots fired. Uh, Shots fired. But yeah, like those ads are the most annoying thing in the world, and you need to have like one to two people whose entire job it is is just to kill them constantly, because they will constantly spawn. <clears throat> oh, and if you manage to bring the boss down to its final thing, if you don't kill him, he gets all his health back. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Which is what happened to us. We're like, oh my god. Fuck that dude. <laughs> Not to mention that those fucking oh. things are immune to crowd control. Also, the drop, after you kill it, here's 500 XP. Fuck you. Here's 5 endo. <laughs> like, literally, like, the reward for killing it is, like, the un the most unsatisfying thing ever. I, it was, I was like, yeah, we did it, boys, and I was really excited to get something interesting and cool and, like, credits and, like, all the shit, like... Like, if I can get, like, a whole bunch of standing if if I spend the night, like, fishing or some shit like that, I was really excited to see, like, what this big reward would be for killing the Eidolon, and I was like, cool, 2,000 credits and 500 XP and a mod I'm never gonna use. Yeah. Cool. It's pretty fucked, dude. A mod that isn't even worth any plat or, like, anything. Yeah. I mean, the the one that we did get was, was worth quite a bit. Was but it? I'm a, yeah. Breaking news, I'm gonna interrupt you guys right now. Ryan Reynolds may or may not be Detective Pikachu. What? That's both exciting and saddening because I wanted it to be anyone else. It... But Ryan Reynolds is All pretty right. cool. I All like right. Ryan Reynolds. Hang on, let me, let me throw in the other contenders. They've thought about Mark Wahlberg, uh, The Mark... Rock. Marky Mark's pretty cool, The Rock's pretty cool. 
and I think someone else. Morgan uh, Freeman? Hugh Jackman. Eh, it's fine. I didn't need Hugh Jackman to be Pikachu. Alright, there you go then. Break, breaking news, everybody. No, I, defi I definitely would have preferred The Rock. They're considering, like, they're all, like, contenders. Oh, okay. Still, so. Uh, what else about playing? Yeah, but those ads make it completely unfun to fight that damn thing. True. Cool. Like, in my perfect world, in my magic tool brush of this game, I would have made, like, three variants of the, uh, Eidolon. Like, yeah. if you want to say, like, oh, that's too expensive, my answer is, fuck it, I'll just recolor them, who gives a shit? And you'd have, like, the, the big one that just fights you by itself, but has, like, a shit ton of life. You'd get, like, yeah. the little baby one that has less life, but has the ads. And then you'd get, like, the middle one that doesn't have nearly as many ads, maybe just one or two that hang out with it. Yeah. But that thing is, like, it's a chore to fight, and it's completely unrewarding. Like, it's not satisfying it at all it to kill. It is a chore. Yeah. That's okay. This game's fun. Yeah. It, it was, I, I will say it was pretty cool for me to like be flying around with Zephyr, putting down the healing pods, picking people up, like... It is the most stressful thing. Yeah, it's actually like... It was really fun. They actually, but... they, these guys here, by which I mean very much as Xavier, because D-Time and Abe aren't here right now. Like, our friend Abe has, what, 2k hours? Yeah. He's a fucking beast in that game. We're still getting fucked up. And he was getting fuckled out there. No, we're... It's terrible times. Also, if you want to get into Warframe, I highly suggest you seek out a friend who also plays it. If you play by yourself, you're going to go crazy. Yeah. I'm uninterested. I will definitely say there's two things that kept me playing Warframe. At my, like, 300 hours now. I just hit 300 hours of, like, actual playtime. Yeah. And uh, the first one is, like, I got thanks a uh, 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 couple skins... Because uh, she lent me her, her Frost Prime pretty much. And, like, if it wasn't for me playing a tanky Frost Prime, like, I don't think I would have ever continued playing the game. Because when I played with these guys, it was definitely like a, like, everyone had their dicks out. And I was over here with this little chode, and I was like, oh man. But then Kelsey, <laughs> Kelsey was like, here's this cock ring. And I was able to put a bubble around my, the, 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 the objectives, and I felt useful. And I was like, yeah! It's because you were useful. Now you're not because you don't play that no more. It's because I have all these other <laughs> fucking frames I can play. <laughs> fucking Zephyr, you son of a bitch. I fucking love Zephyr. She's the worst. I really like her design, though. I, I really hope for a rework. The only thing I don't want them to change is her one. Everything else is up for grabs. Yeah. Let me fly. They, they, gotta, they gotta keep the mobility on. That's her whole thing. That's what I love. Also, for those who do start out, just know it does start off a bit slow in terms of building stuff. Yeah, your first. For those who do start out, please use my referral code. At <laughs> use my referral code. Your first like twenty hours, honestly, are gonna be real slow. They they are be slowest. You're gonna go like, what the fuck? Where, confirm, what am, where am I? Yeah, like yeah, it, it, what's that, going on? That's why I, I really wanna... see just playing with friends. Can't yeah, confirm. you'll be like, I want to get these parts, but I don't have the materials for it. Eventually, you'll be Can't like, ah, oh, I have the materials to spare. Yeah, the second you'll thing have, that like, really like. Running work me over like in like man this game is actually pretty really like really well designed was that uh i was playing with abe the abe with like 2k hours who's like super beast and has all this shit in the game and i was like man he's, he's so much stronger than me he's doing all this shit and then like i immediately saw him get slapped by like a bombard and go down he was like oh shit and i was all <laughs> like oh shit he puts his pants on just like the rest of us <laughs> and he's like it's okay you could use any weapon to make it good yeah like <laughs> Like his like his demeanor of like uh, like the demeanor of all like I have two K hours in Warframe people are is almost universally like super chill and relaxed about it. Yeah. And I I, I saw like that uh like like the the what you call it like hey like that big jump is like yeah it's a huge jump to like get that many hours in and be as strong as that. Well, once is, you get there, but like it it's actually a great. very obtainable goal, mm -hmm. and if you keep setting none of it's free to play. No, I mean none of it's, it's pay to, to win. win. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I like, uh, there's so many little goals you can do, and that's what I've been doing. 
is every time I, I, I do something, I'm like, well, I want to do this. Like, when I first started playing, my goal was to get this frame called Atlas, because he punches the shit out of things, and that's always been my jam. And I actually did that really recently, and I haven't touched him, because I immediately found Zephyr, like, a week later. And it was love at first uh, flight. God damn it. Subscribe to all those source filmmaker porn makers who just exclusively make Zephyr porn. You know who you are. They're not going to hear this. No, they won't because they don't, they don't exist. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Saren. It's yeah, all Saren. It's all Saren, dude. They're it's all, all Saren and Valkyr, dude. Saren and yeah. Valkyr, maybe some Ember. Sometimes. There's an Avara in there sometimes because the booty. But yeah, Warframe's Makes. really good. You should play it. It's it's really well 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 made. <laughs> it's a very well designed game. Bug free yeah. gameplay. Bug free gameplay. Bug free gameplay. Disclaimer: there there is a lot of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and and if you're wondering why we're talking about this on the Halloween cast, it's, uh, I'm, I'm I'm speaking fastly now because we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Okay. Uh, things are getting quieter over time because I, I I'm editing that in. Anyway, the the, the scary thing. With, with Haro, it's a Haro frame, it's a Catholic frame, and it's a scary quest, you get scary quest.